Hello, I'm back to talk more about PCOS facial hair. Today we're going to talk about the medical interventions available to you. So these are prescription drugs uh, or treatments that you can go into your dermatologist and sometimes your general practitioner and request and talk to them about. So it's great to kind of know what your options are before you walk in the door. I'm going to go over the most common options that I've seen in my research and uh, some of the pros and cons about them so that you feel prepared for your doctor's appointment. Okay, so number one is a drug called spironolactone. I will spell it out in the bottom. Have it help me if I pronounced it wrong. I do it a lot. Um, so this drug is, uh, is actually a diuretic, so it's used usually to reduce blood pressure. But um, one of the side effects is that it can reduce androgens, which is useful if you are trying to reduce your androgens so that you have less face, facial hair with PCOS. Um, in my research, I, I, I looked into um, the dosages that they vary depending on your size and the severity of your symptoms. But um, Dr. Andrea Dunaf, who, who is a leader in PCOS treatments, um, you'll see her a lot speaking up in various podcasts in the PCOS community. Um, she says that this treatment usually takes her patients about six months to really see if it's going to work. So um, one thing to keep in mind is even though it's medication, I think we often think that medication is going to work faster than a lifestyle approach. That's really not the case um, with uh, PCOS facial hair. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay. Another option that you could probably use in conjunction with the spironolactone is um, a topical medication called Venique. And uh, this is put on the face where you have facial hair so that it grows back thinner and finer and lighter and less whiskery, male, manly, I guess, if you want to go that way, if you want to describe it that way. So um, this medication, I've, I've been looking for reviews online from women with actually have had PCOS and they're kind of mixed. Um, nobody's um, like super jazzed about it, but if you've used it and you've had success or you haven't had success, I would love for you to comment below so other people can see what you had to say, especially if you've used any of these drugs longer term, like three, six months, because that's usually how long it takes for them to work. Um, with both of these medications, you will probably also be offered the birth control pill, and there's two reasons for that. A combination birth control pill, not just any birth control pill. So even if you're on a birth control pill right now, you may want to go to back to your doctor and ask if this is one that's appropriate for treating PCOS facial hair, if that's the route you want to go. So it does help balance out the androgens artificially in your system, so it kind of artificially helps you balance out your hormones. But also Vinique and um, Spironolactone, they are um, not good for pregnant people. Uh, Vinique in particular is a class C drug for pregnancy. Um, and so I wouldn't recommend probably any of these options if you are kind of in the trying to conceive to breastfeeding spectrum of your life. Um, it sounds like these aren't a good choice. Definitely get some feedback from a physician because I'm not a physician. Um, so you will be offered birth control um, and whether or not you take it, you should be using some form of birth control um, because you don't want to get pregnant while you're on these drugs. Okay. So to recap, you have three good options, hormonal birth control, Vinique, and spironolactone. They are not overnight cures, and they don't completely eliminate facial hair. They reduce the facial hair that's already there to generally like a finer, um, lighter, less coarse kind of hair growth, and they slow it down. Uh, please leave comments below if you have experience with these medications. Um, because there are women out there that are looking for your advice, your opinions, and your reviews. Thank you for contributing to our community. You really count. Your voice matters. And um, I'll be back in a week to talk PCOS acne, which I had plenty of. So if that's your problem, hang in there, girl. I gotcha.